Lung cancers are the most prevalent and most lethal group of cancers globally. The two main types of lung cancer are small cell and non-small cell. Small cell lung cancer tends to grow faster than other cancers. Non-small cell lung cancer can often be surgically removed, improving the odds of survival. Cells accumulate damage to cause mutations and become cancerous. Mutations may be caused by inhaling irritating particles or toxic chemicals. The immune system destroys damaged, mutated, and malignant cells every day. The tumor cells learn to trick the immune system and can even suppress the immune response. Cancer cells break from the original tumor and travel to other organs and cavities, causing metastatic lesions. The tumor changes the ability of the lungs to clear infection and to exchange gas. Only 5 to 10 percent of cancers have a known hereditary risk factor. Cigarette smoke is full of toxic chemicals and repeatedly injures the linings of the airways, but only around 15 percent of people who smoke will develop lung cancer. Surprised? Other potential causes include secondhand smoke, radon which occurs naturally from the ground, workplace and home building chemicals, air pollution, a history of radiation therapy, conditions such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or pulmonary fibrosis. Early on, fatigue may be the only symptom. Recurrent infections like bronchitis occur along with hoarseness and mild shortness of breath. Continued cough and weight loss occur in later stages coughing up blood. When lung cancer shows clear signs and symptoms, it is usually very advanced and is difficult to treat. Lung cancer has always had a poor survival rate, but recent medical developments have changed this dynamic. Routine use of low-dose CT scans increase the chances of detecting and diagnosing lung cancer, increasing the chances of longer survival. Great immunotherapy drugs and precise treatments are showing promise in increasing the survival rate.